Hello and welcome to sim.bc where today we're doing something new and if I'm saying we're doing something new we're doing something goddamn new because overall over the course of this channel right we've been doing raw video footage we've been doing raw stuff all the way maybe that I've read some articles before but basically it's just been me taking a keyword or something just sitting down and reading it off now today i would like to introduce something new a new kind of well what should we say a new kind of video format that i would like to do every saturday and that is saturday news recap of week one of the year and what better day is to start or rather what better week to start than the first week of 2018 this is hopefully a initiative that will carry over throughout 2018 or till that 365 day mark that i'm planning on with new vlogs and perhaps even further than that we'll see we'll see but hopefully it sticks because this is giving me myself an incentive to actually keep up with stuff that's happening in the world <clears throat> just to define what we're going to go through here these are going to be news items that I deem to be very interesting they can be all from what happened of the latest controversy now 2018 with Logan Paul all the way to what is happening in my local community so it can be really spread news but that's the fun of it now isn't it <clears throat> well it's 12 36 yet not a fast day or rather just another early day so to say in comparison to what I've been doing the last couple of days but that's because I'm having the access to good internet yet another day so of course we're utilizing that with actually starting a bit later than zero 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 in the middle of the night but without any further ado mates let's get into it so let's get the one thing that everybody think of out of the way what has been one of the biggest news all of the last week what has been the one biggest news of 2018's first week well basically mates right it has been the Logan Paul fiesta I would like to say the Logan Paul fiasco rather and the controversy that followed now for those of you who have been living under a rock because I'm a bit late with developing this but I thought why not save it for Saturday with the new thing Basically what happened was that Logan Paul is a vlogger, he's released like 400 plus vlogs, I believe it was his 450th vlog, it was a Viner moving over to YouTube, and he has been doing vlogs for ever since I believe. And well, he and his brother Jake Paul doesn't have the best of reputation on this platform if we just leave it at that. They've done many things that have sparked different controversies and many things that people haven't quite agreed with. But basically up until this point it's been things that are just like, well that's not that smart mate, but it's not illegal either. Well, I bet I guess that they've been like broadening that horizon a few times, but this is the one time where they've seem to go on overboard so to say where it's actually spread quite vividly and viral so to say outside YouTube because otherwise normally where I'm viewing this is mainly inside YouTube uh, different creators commenting on them but now I've also seen different news media outlets commenting on this incident so what is this incident that I'm talking about well basically this guy Logan Paul he walked out in the Suicide Forest, as it's called, next to Mount Fuji in Japan. Why is it called the Suicide Forest? Well, because it is a notorious forest for suicide, or so to say, going there to end their lives when they don't have much to live, when they see that they don't have much to live for. Anyway, there is supposed to be, there. this is, as I understand it, quite an attraction for different families and different people going there and there is because of Mount Fuji and there's a different landscape there's a beautiful landscape all around perhaps that's why they've chosen it as their final resting place but so there are people going there and there is like a steady path that you should take once you're there but Logan Paul and his crewmates they went out a bit out track and they went to a so-called restricted area they went off track and they found a dead body now with it what did they do when they found this dead body and why do we know about that they found a dead body do they have any proof yeah that is kind of where the news comes in yes they do have proof because they included in the in the vlog filming someone who hanged there now if that is distasteful that's up to you I'm not gonna judge I would even though I would say that that's clear thing to judge if I ever gonna judge something 
Um, but yeah, they went into the forest, they were filming their reactions, they were filming their ambience of the forest, they were filming the team, then they come, came across the victim. And a respectable human being would probably shut off the camera and walked away, and uh, not releasing it, and perhaps if you would like to raise awareness, perhaps talk about it in the vlog afterwards, but that is not what happened. What happened was that they made some very indecent shots of the body with Logan Paul in it and the other crewmates and they filmed their reactions with me which many people say is inappropriate however I would say that they tended to laugh in the video a bit but everybody handles this type of reaction differently I had this mate who told me a story once about well his mate being hit really really hard in the head and he just fell unconscious and me mate just started laughing now, some people would say that's a very indecent and bad response, but that's just how some people react in that type of behavior, in that circumstance. Now, since Logan Paul has gone out with an apology stating that, well, I'm thanking my fans for the support, but you shouldn't support this because it's clear that he also thinks that he is wrong. Now, many people have criticized him because he was using this victim in a thumbnail, basically using it as clickbait to gain views and hence ad revenue. Many people are not happy with this result and that's probably where the a lot of criticism came, comes in. Not the main criticism, of course. The main criticism is that it is filmed and posted to begin with. But then when that has happened, when he's trying to make some form of realism and uh, connecting it to reality in the beginning of the video, he has already made a clickbait title and a clickbait yeah, well, thumbnail of it. So that's also a huge criticism. So in order to round off this Logan Paul story, this entire news arc is basically that a vlogger went into a forest where this notor notorious for people to end their lives, found one of the victims, filmed this victim and handed it out to the internet to see, displaying it to the world, so to say, without the victim's consent. And that is also something that I think is really important, even though this person is no longer with us, it's arguable if you had the right to make that choice. Now moving on to the second one, right? Because that was the big one, the one that people here at YouTube probably already know about because it has been quite a fuss about it for obvious reasons that I just mentioned and I think that there should have been a fuss and there was. Now moving into the second one that I deem to be quite interesting is the entire thing about North and South Korea. Yes, indeed, we're going that way. Because since the Winter Olympics is approaching, North Korea apparently opened a phone line to North to South Korea again that has been closed for two years and North Korean side closed it according to the media that I heard it from. Now I'm just going to restrict this by saying uh, putting a disclaimer that saying I have gotten this information from Swedish media. If you've tended to hear heard a different story, that might not necessarily be untrue. Neither is mine, but they can just be diff very, very different. They've gained very different perspectives, very different data perhaps and therefore they've drawn different conclusions and chosen to broadcast it in the way that they did. But basically the way that I heard about it was that North Korea has opened this phone line to South Korea because they want to discuss the Winter Olympics and of course they're going to discuss other things as well regarding, well, the tense political situation in that area and that is something that is completely serious I shouldn't laugh about it but yet again people handle these kind of stressful situations in different ways. What I found was quite interesting was that the main, what should we say, the main footage in this report was about, well, the Winter Olympics and that is open this phone line again, but then they also had a sidetrack saying that, what do you think the stake of nuclear war is now that North Korea has opened up towards the South Korea? And then they had a statement from the US, yet again, I might have seen this out of context, so don't quote me on this, but basically a representative from the US, as broadcasters in Swedish media, said that, well, we're very restricted, we're very cautious about uh, North Korea's actions, and we do believe that we should take this with a grain of salt, this is not, everybody, everything is not under the rug, so to say, it's still up in the air. And they were, of course, discussing nuclear war as a possibility. Then they went over to discussing it in the Swedish media and they said that uh, well North Korea haven't actually started to decrease their amount of nuclear supplies, let's say their nuclear bomb supply which they state is able to reach the US. 
And I thought that was a quite an interesting news story to take up because it's, you know, interesting to see that the North Korea, such an isolated country, is reaching out to South Korea, even though it's, you know, debatable that it's enough with this, but however. But what I thought was quite interesting was that in Swedish media they kind of discussed that, well, North Korea isn't decreasing their nuclear warheads and their nuclear alert, so the possibility for a nuclear war is still there. However, neither is the US. And I know, I know, before you get all up in arms, I know YouTube is an American company and so is Google who's owning YouTube and this is probably not a good thing to say, but it is true. However, from the perspective that I'm seeing it from and the information that I have access to, the US isn't decreasing their nukes either. Neither is Russia, neither is China or any other of the countries that are having access to nukes. Now they're always saying it, they're always showing the policy that we should decrease it because nukes is a bad thing, in my opinion, um, but they haven't actually decreased it as I'm aware of. So I thought it was quite interesting that they were saying to you know North Korea basically that well they haven't decreased their nukes which is still saying that there is this way of nuclear war even though they're reaching out and trying to communicate with South Korea. However, I would like to say that well, neither is any of the other countries, so why should that matter if North Korea is doing it or not? I know that some people will say, well, or most people will actually say, well, that's because it's a dictatorship and not a democracy, so on and so forth. That is a discussion for another time. We just felt that it was quite an interesting thing that they took up in the news and it, to, in my opinion, made it quite biased when they were reporting it, which I believe is never good. Thing. But that was the two main news from this week that I deem to be very interesting and very nice that I would like to take up and share with you guys. So please comment in the comment section below, give your perspective of what you think. Please join in in the discussion and make it more vibrant and bigger and better because more is always better when it comes to opinion. Am I right? No? No? I'm not right? Okay, well, good opinions. No, of course not. There's no good, there's no bad questions, only bad answers, so don't trash each other in the comment section below. Please also leave a comment on what you thought about this new format since we're gonna go forward with it. Just like the vlogs are going to continue to increase in quality so hopefully this is something that's going to be crisp at the end of the year if we choose to go for it that long. So have a nice one mates and I'll see you tomorrow with tomorrow's video.